Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Uh, I'm gonna share this little project that I did just uh, earlier today. Basically, um, originally I want to kind of create this Tengu kind of mask. You probably know this mask from um, Emoji. This is one of the special Japanese Emoji. Basically, Tengu is a very famous, like kind of like a creatures from the forest, kind of like a half devil, half human. Um, it's a really nice mask, but uh, I realized maybe I'll do this another time. For today, I'll be doing this uh, anonymous mask because this mask is actually available online and you can just download it. There are many different versions. I was originally using this one, but uh, I found there is another one that's actually much better. This one, and you can just download it. And you can actually print it out and this one has really nice detail as well so you have this mask ready you can just download it and you can bring it into blender and in blender you can add um, uh, your own textures this one i just did like a very dirty kind of work just paint the eyebrow the mustache um, i actually reduce the size of this mask as well so this is like 40% of the original mask so now I have the mask and I have the texture uh, what's uh, we gonna do next next is to create the AR AR mask using Facebook spark AR studio so recently they renamed their um, their AR studio creation app and call it spark AR so this is pretty cool you can easily create something uh, you don't necess uh, necessarily need to submit it to Facebook, but uh, yeah, you can easily create something like this. Um, you can test it using different person. Um, this is actually pretty easy to make. Like uh, you just need to use one of their template and just simply bring the mask into it. So if I recreate this from scratch, okay, Spark. AR. This is their latest. It's version 49.1. Just select the face mask effect. That's the template project. You can actually watch a video about it as well. So it, it creates these effects with the glasses. It's, it's pretty fancy glasses with some animations. If I ever gonna be doing the, the Tengu, the Tengu mask, I want this to be a little bit animatable. Uh, for now, we don't need the glasses. We already have this face tracker. All we need to do is for this one, just import the OBJ mask. So guy mask. All you need to worry is just like the scale of the mask. Uh, sometimes because we uh, have as a human we have all different type of face we probably need a way to scale the mask to fit the face perfectly uh, although for this we don't need to worry too much so just bring the mask put it in there oops didn't quite work Oh, there you go. There's the mask already. And the mask must be hidden somewhere. This one. So that's the mask. It's a bit small. Resize it to 9.5 in my case. Okay, so that's the mask. We don't need to see the, the glasses anymore. So glasses delete there is some kind of occluder in this mask and then also there is this framing that we don't need um, just remove that there's a head occluder that we need we probably need that glasses okay we don't need this delete all right so we just need to maybe pause the movie 
select the mask put it bring it down a little bit so you can so that you can see the eyes of the person all right you can test it with a different person so with this guy we don't see the mask Okay. See, there's a some kind of occlusion happening. That's where the mask is gonna be hidden. So, there you go. That's actually pretty much done. Uh, this AR mask actually will work for the front and back camera. Um, it worked for the iPhone and also Android. Um, it's not really using the iPhone uh, through the front camera. But the nice thing of, about, about face, Facebook AR is that it's going to work with uh, any platform, so Android or, or iOS. I haven't really looked at um, Spark AR Studio properly, but there are so many examples out there. Uh, really cool example, like especially when you start using like uh, interactions uh, uh, or some kind of dynamic effects starting to look really really nice this is like the most basic one you can use you use this to create like glasses AR or maybe hat not many people doing hat but the hat is really also pretty fun to do but mask they are like hundreds or thousands of there are so many kind of masks out there that you can try I really want to do the Tengu maybe you can do this as well as an idea but uh, this mask is pretty fun as well but uh, um, yeah you can print it out but I don't have 3d printer so I created AR mask so this one is done basically and you can publish this but in my case I don't really publish it I just mirror it into my iPhone so if you plug in your iPhone or Android devices it's just uh, simply gonna mirror on the Spark Airs uh, Spark AR Studio app on the device itself and if you really want to publish it you can export and you can see you can follow uh, uh, the rest um, yeah that's pretty much it um, hopefully you find this fun let me know what you think of course this can be better the texture can be better the material can be better this is this is like a PBR material oh actually not PBR but by default it's just like a standard um, Lambert or blin i think okay but you can turn it into a physically base and if you use physically base and then you turn on the texture you're, you're gonna get this patch editor all kind of funky stuff and you can bring in your uh, texture and create a better material so yeah that's pretty much the basic really there's a lot you can do with spark ar that i, I haven't covered dynamics for example or interactive Maybe if you, your character blink, the mask kind of animate. There's also the cool one, like uh, uh, there is one where you can deform your face. And that's probably the next thing I will try to do. It's very, very easy to do. So based on um, Facebook example, uh, you can kind of deform your nose. But you can also create a lot of interesting stuff just by deforming the face. That's probably the next thing I'll do. Uh, but try, try your own mask. Try different kind of mask, and let's see what you can come up with. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.